Hey friends, so good to see you again. We're just getting together, talking about so many amazing things that God's doing. And uh, one of the things that's really been on my mind and on my heart over and over again during these weeks is how we need to fix our eyes on Jesus. So Hebrews 12 comes to mind where it says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. That word fix in the Greek is to turn away from everything else and just look at him. So in times that are difficult and challenging, if we just fix our eyes on Him, that's where our foundation is. That's where our strength comes from. If you think of Peter, when Jesus came to the disciples in the boat walking on the water, and He said, Lord, if that's you, let me come to you. Let me walk on the water. He steps out of the boat. Jesus says, come. And He steps out of the water. He uses His faith to step out of the boat. And then what happens? He fixes His eyes on His Savior. As soon as he looks away, the storm takes over. The waves come. The chaos happens because he went by his own abilities instead of keeping his eyes fixed on Jesus. You know what's interesting about that scripture too? If it was a storm, if it was still water, no matter what it was, Jesus was still walking on it. So whether it's a storm in life, whether it's calm times in life, your Savior walks on it. He overcomes. How are we? Are we overcoming because of Him? Only if we fix our eyes on Him. So I thought of an old song that I have brought up recently, and you'll remember it, um, by a woman named Helen Lamel. And I'm gonna read you the verses, and then I'm gonna read you the chorus. And something very interesting I found out about this, I'm gonna share at the end. It says, O soul, are you weary and troubled? No light in the darkness you see. There's a light for a look at the Savior and life more abundant and free. Though death, through death into life everlasting, he passed and we follow him there. Over us sin no more hath dominion, for more than conquerors we are. His word shall not fail you, he promised. Believe him and all will be well. Then go to a world that is dying, his perfect salvation to tell. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. I looked up the origin of this song, and the woman that wrote it, it was first published in 1918, during the last pandemic that we've had in this world. And I find it interesting that back then, people needed to be reminded to turn their eyes on Jesus, fix your eyes on Him, that we're being reminded again now. So just wanna encourage you to fix your eyes on him and don't look to the left or to the right. Keep your attention where your strength comes from.